Hi, my name is Tony Shen. Welcome to OnlineBizEdio.com. In this video, we will be talking about how to avoid the duplicate content penalty. Duplicate content is a content that appears on the internet in more than one place. When there are multiple pieces of identical content on the internet, it is difficult for search engine to decide which version is more relevant to a given search query. You should not stress about it. In the worst non-spammy case, Google might just ignore the duplicate content. Google has said time and time again, duplicate content issues are rarely a penalty. Duplicate content, this is an important on-page factor to watch out for. Having the same content on your site hurts freshness and uniqueness. So that means you want it to be fresh, you want it to be unique, you want it to Google to look at you as, hey, this guy has a quality content that is also unique, and it cannot be found all over the web. With you can unknowingly have duplicate content as some of these factors. Duplicate content mainly apply to having the same content found multiple times within your site. That's a big no-no. Now, some people argue and say you obviously for freshness and uniqueness, you still want to have unique content. You want to try to be as unique as possible. People used to teach with SEO as I did myself, used to teach that duplicate content was okay. If you are pulling sources from other things, that it used to be back in the day, meaning if you took a content from other sites and you had on your site. Now you need to be very unique. You need to be careful out being unique. And that's kind of a barricade yourself from all the search engine changes. And it helps you if you apply these factors of having a unique quality content. Avoid duplicate content that is found on another site. And most importantly, by all means, your own site. Don't take the same article reusing five different times on your website. That's not okay. And the search engines will pick that up. But you can actually accidentally and knowingly be using duplicate content as I'm pointing out here. Things like the company mission statement or code on the bottom of every page, duplicate title tags. We talked about that as well. When you are doing title tags, you want to have unique title tags for every page of your site. That's good practice for SEO reasons, because that's going to help you get ranking. Also, for the duplicate content, you don't suffer the duplicate content penalty. Do a site search in Google to view your title tags. So again, that search phrase for this site is a site colon your domain dot com. Site colon your domain dot com. You don't need to using a code to use that as an example to show you. But beside and your domain dot com. So using unique title tags to improve your rankings on each one of those pages, and you might find overall impact if you went back through and edited those, or had somebody on your team do that, or somebody in your company. Similar product descriptions, rewriting descriptions for products or similar descriptions. We touched on that as a very important part of being unique. Same thing goes into the duplicate content. Accidental indexing archiving pages for WordPress users. If you are on WordPress, you oftentimes have a page called Archive. Sometimes that page can get indexed. So if you're using SEO plugins like All-in-One SEO, they will actually prevent this from happening. If you enjoyed this educational training, keep up with all of our newly videos by clicking the subscriber button below. Also, go to www.onlinebizedio.com for more online marketing news and tips. See you next time.